Okay, today we're going to be just doing a little bit of overview of my Weatherby Vanguard Talon and kind of the results I've been getting with shooting this rifle and where I'm at with that. So, <clears throat> this rifle here, I just got this, um, I got this in mid-November. This is the Weatherby Vanguard Talon and I did do my initial review on this. Um, and so far, I'm, I'm very happy with this with this rifle. Uh, a couple things to note: it's chambered in 300 Win Mag, and primarily this is a hunting rifle for me. It's going to be for for hunting elk and deer, uh, but I, I needed something that was lightweight for backcountry hunting, and something that was powerful enough to take down an elk. So I, I decided to go with the 300 Win Mag. But a couple things to note with this rifle um, and doing testing and, and, and taking it to the range and testing out different ammo. I've tried, let's see, one, two, three, four. I've tried four different types of ammo. And of the four types of ammo, there's, only, there's really only one that this rifle really likes. I've shot... I've shot the Hornady ELDXs in 175 grain and in 200 grain. And the 175 grain, it did not group well at all, like really bad. The, the uh, 200 grain, it grouped a little bit better. Um, but both still well over MOA, like even well over an uh, inch and a half MOA. And then I also tried the, the um, Nosler Partitions, and that was a little bit better but still a little bit over MOA. Um, so not ideal for those, those, three, those three rounds, but with this Federal Terminal Ascent, this gun loves this ammo. This 200 grain Terminal Ascent, it shoots it really, really well, uh, like sub half MOA well. So really, really impressed with, with this Terminal Ascent and this rifle. It shoots lights out, and I am by no means an advanced shooter. Uh, I'm just kind of getting into this, and you know, just just getting to a place where I'm shooting beyond 100 yards, so 100, 200, 300 yards. Uh, that's really new to me, so I'm I'm by no means an advanced shooter. But with this ammo and this rifle, I've been achieving pretty consistent MOA and even sub half MOA on on a few occasions. Um, with this ammo. Still, this rifle, I probably only put 50 rounds through it. It's still new, um, but getting good results with this terminal scent. So I just wanted to show you some of my, uh, um, some of my groups from this past weekend at the range. Uh, the first time I took this out and shot ter terminal uh, ascent, I got a .4 MOA um, at 100 yards. This time I'm, I'm extending it a little bit further and seeing how it's doing. I did 100, 200, and 300 yards. Uh, next time out, I'm going to take it out to, to four and 500 yards. But so this is what we have here, uh, 200 yards. This group here uh, was an inch and a half at 200 yards. So that's sub MOA. 200 yards, a two inch group would be MOA. So this is sub MOA to, at 200 yards. Um, and then coming out to 300 yards, I have this group here, which is 2.8 inches at 300 yards. So center to center, it's like 2.8, maybe even a little bit less, um, but 2.8 inches at 300 yards. That's sub MOA, so happy with that. And then this group, these two groups here, this is a two and a half inch group. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, two and a half inch group at 300 yards. That's sub MOA. And then this group I was really, really impressed with. This is 1.2 inches at 300 yards. So this is sub uh, even better than uh, even better than half MOA. So sub sub half MOA. Um, at 300 yards, so really happy. Um, I'm, I'm hitting a little bit high and to the right, so my, I noticed my, my dope was uh, slightly off. 
um, but the group's super happy with this. This is, I only shot, I think, I think I shot five groups in total with this rifle at the range, and, um, you know, four of those were well under MOA. So really, really, really happy with this um, 300 Win Mag Federal Terminal Ascent and 200 grain. This this is good food for my rifle. It likes a lot, and this is what I'm going to stick with. I'm also going to continue trying some other ammo to see if I can I can get um, another load that's that's MOA with this, just in case I can't find this. It seems to be pretty easy to find. Um, so maybe I'll stock up on this and, and use this, but, uh, but yeah, for, for a lightweight, for a lightweight backcountry hunting rifle, shooting those kind of groups, uh, for somebody that's, you know, pretty new to this kind of long range shooting, I, I, I am very, very happy with, with this setup and, uh, going to continue to practice with it and, uh, test it out and I'll keep you guys along with the loop. If you like the content you're seeing here, we're going to get more into, um, you know, chronographing this ammo and this rifle and, uh, you know, getting into more precision shooting and, and uh, yeah, just kind of go down that rabbit hole. So if you guys like the content you're seeing here on the channel, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to us and we'll see you on the next one.